Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll be showing you how AI empower Power Apps Studio, allowing you to create easily your solution. Just describing what you want to do with your Power App, AI will generate a first template for you. All right, let's get started. Here I am in my browser. I have Power Apps Studio open. I have opened this URL make.preview.powerapps.com because this is the preview page where you can see the new home page. On top we have this new functionality powered by AI called Copilot which will allow me to ask for a new app and AI will produce and create a template of my Power App so I will not start from scratch but I will start from a solid structure. Down below I have additional functionality like for example start with data, start with a page design and start with an app template. So this is the main new capability that I'm going to show you in a bit. Before to jump in, it's important that you make use of an environment based on US as location. If you don't see this capability, this functionality on top of your page, probably this could be the reason. Microsoft is rolling out this new capability slowly. All right, let's start with the first application. Uh, let me ask to the copilot to create an app that will take care of an inventory. So I'm going to click on this link suggested on top, list inventory, and then I'm going to confirm my request by clicking on the button send. All right, my Dataverse table is created, called inventory. I have a bunch of columns here like ID, name, quantity, price, type, and status. And on the right, we can see Copilot. This was my previous request, list inventory. Now, Without moving my mouse and performing manual operation, for example, to create new columns, I can ask directly to Copilot to add extra columns. So, for example, I can type here, I added here my description, please can you create another column category with the following options, service, hardware and software. Let me send this request. Now Copilot will create an additional column on my table. And look at this, I have a new column added category with options that I asked before, service, hardware and software. How cool is this? So you can ask something and Copilot will create for you what you need. Now if I click on the button create app, this of course will bring me on the starting page to work and deal with my power up. All right, my app is ready to go. I can skip and close this message. And what I have here is a first draft and template of my app. Another cool thing here to know is that this app is responsive. Let me play this app. As you can see here, I have this view. This is the normal, let's call desk, desktop view of my app. But here I can change the look and feel. I can have, for example, Apple iPhone view. And as you can see, the application is responsive. I have a different view, but it fits completely the device, in this case, the iPhone. I can also select a, a tablet, for example. Let me go with Apple iPad Pro. And as you can see now, the page is readapted according to the screen. So let me click again here and let me go on the browser view. Let me, I, here I can select the window sides or canvas sides. Let's go with the canvas sides. But this is pretty, pretty cool because I have my app ready to go for every device. It doesn't matter. And this is the structure. I have the main screen and here I have the screen container, the table, and then down below other objects. But this is the purpose of creating the app using this new capability. It's already prepared to go and run on multiple and several devices. I am back in the homepage of make.previewpowerapps.com and here I want to use Copilot to generate and create another app. 
So in this case, in this text box, what I'm going to type is travel requests because I want to create an app which is able to manage all travel requests for my organization. Let me click on the button go and send and now I am sending this to Copilot, travel requests. If Copilot is not able to handle your request, you will see a message down below that is not possible to process your request. But this is not the case because we have already a table created called travel request on Dataverse and I have a bunch of columns here. I have ID, name, destination, start date, end date, purpose, status and cost. I can add additional columns here if I want. I can ask directly to Copilot to modify this uh, table if I want. Let's say that I want to delete, for example, the column status. Let me type something here. Please, because I am always polite, delete the column status. That's the column. Let me send my request. And now let's see if Copilot is able to process this request. Here we go. The status column is gone. This is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, now I can click on the button create app and I can deal with my app. But let me go back on the home page and let's see additional functionality in the new home page. Now I have several and additional options to create and start to deal with my power app. I have other ways, as we can see here from this text. Start with data. I can upload an Excel file if I have, or start with a blank table starting completely from scratch. Select an existing table or connect to an external data. Let me go with upload an Excel file. This is my file Excel. I have just one row with several columns. Let me close this file Excel. Let me save it. And now I'm going to upload this file Excel just to, to show you how this thing works. Now the Power Apps Studio will create a table for me. <clears throat> I have the ability to select and say that the first row is a column headers, like in this case I have ID, device, model, which is a text, assign it to, status, which is a choice, a dropdown, and here I can change the name of my table and I can start the creation of my app. I will not do that right now and I'm going to leave and discard this table. As I mentioned before, you can start completely from scratch by structuring the table as you prefer or you can connect your table with external data. Okay, it's time to explore additional functionality. The second option available is start with a page design. Clicking here, I am now able to say that I want to start in Dataverse using a gallery connected to a table or to an external table like SQL, Excel or a SharePoint list. I have always the ability to start with a blank canvas app which target a tablet or a, a smartphone. And finally I have view and form, blank page with navigation, an image or Figma file for example and then I have several and additional templates, split screen, sidebar, header main section footer and dashboard. The last option offer me the way to select a template, an existing template. Here there is a, an existing catalog that I can reuse with different apps, model driven apps or canvas apps. Speaking about canvas apps, I can, for example, create my app for Outdesk or Meeting Capture, PDF Reader, Budget Tracker, and so on, many other. I have, for example, Asset Checkout. Let me click this on this one. And here I have my preview of my app, how it looks like. It's pretty nice. I can also click on this button Preview. This will open a new tab in the browser and will load the preview of my app. This is how well my app will look like once it's created. I have my Dataverse table with all the information here. I can leave a review, I can select keyboards, monitors or mouse and then I can assign devices to employees, for example. This is just a way to go. 
here I can select the name of my app and then I can select the format if it's a tablet or a phone so we have seen this new home page of power apps studio which make it even better than before and we have this incredible functionality powered by AI called Copilot which help us to build very fast power apps all right we have seen AI applied to power apps studio if you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe like and put a comment down below let me know what do you think about this new cool capability I hope to see you next time. Bye.